welcome back to my channel, Tech Teach and Transform. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Seesaw activity that you have in your Seesaw into a Google Slide so that way you can upload it into your LMS providers and you can grade it right there in that document. So instead of having to go to Seesaw, get the grade and then add it into your gradebook, you can create a Google Slide with the exact same templates that are used in Seesaw but just have it the digital version in Google Drive so that way you can be able to upload it into your LMS. So if you're ready, let's get started. So the first thing, this is what we're going to be making today. So this is a syllable fun activity that I got from Seesaw and this is what we're going to be making in Google Slides. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your Seesaw and you're going to pick an activity that you want to recreate. So this syllable circle from Carrie Lewis is the one that I'm going to create. And the reason I'm creating it in slides is because do you notice how there's one out of 10? So this just means there's 10 templates here that you can, you can use for your slideshow. So that's why I decided to create this activity in slides. So once you have your activity that you want to create and recreate, you're going to go to your Google Drive and you're going to go to New, Google Slides and hit Create. So now I'm going to have a template that I'm going to work with a, a blank um, Google Slide ready to go so I can start adding stuff to it. So the first thing I always like to do is just delete these two text boxes. So I just click on them and delete them. Okay. The next thing I'm going to have it so it's kind of like a paper, so like a square. I want to make it a 10 by 10 piece of paper instead of long ways and and Thick, I want to make it a square. So to do that, you're going to go to File, scroll down to Page Setup, and you're going to go over to Custom, and I'm going to keep that 10, and I'm going to change this one to 10. So now it's going to be in the shape of a square. So now you have this template that you can work with, and you're ready to add to. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background because I don't like the background being white for this template. I want to actually make it a, back, um, a colorful background. So to do that, you can click on background. You can either choose an image you want or you can just choose a color. I am just going to choose a color and I'm going to choose this greenish color and hit done. Now there's my background. Now if you remember on the template, there was a box with a one, two, three, or four. So I'm going to recreate that in my Google Slides. To do that, you're going to go to Insert, Table, and I'm going to do a two by two. So there's my table. I'm going to put it at the top and make it a little smaller, make it wider. There we go. So now I have my table right there. Now, I want to make this table have a different color inside, so I'm going to make sure the table is clicked. I'm going to go to the fill color bucket, and I'm going to fill it to, let's do a darker green. There we go. So there are my boxes for my syllables, for my syllable count. So let me make it a little bigger so that way we could see the numbers better. Now, you can either double click in each of the boxes of your table to do your text, or I like to have it where it's a word art. So to get a word art, you're going to go to insert word arts, and you're just going to type in the number one. There it is. I'm going to move it up into my box. I'm going to make the font a little thicker. I like the luckiest guy font for thickness, and I'm going to make the fill color white so it stands out. So there's my color. Now, if I'm satisfied with this, I can just control D three more times to duplicate. So I'm just going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And to change the number, you're just going to double click, put two, hit enter. Double click, three, enter, double click, four, enter. So now I have my table with my one, two, three, or four for my kids to be able to scroll something over for the amount of syllables that that picture has or that word has. So now I wanna add my picture and my word. So on my template, I had a box and I'm ready to put my picture in. So to do that, you're gonna to go to the shapes, hit shapes, and I always like the curved round one for the shape. I'm gonna drag this one down just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put it like that. There we go. 
Okay, I want to change the color again, so I'm going to go to the fill bucket color, and let's do like a purple. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks good. Now, to add in the image of your word, I'm going to go to insert image, search the web, and I'm going to type in a word. So I'm going to type in octopus, okay, and I want it to be clip art because I want it to be cute for my ki kids. And then I also want it to be transparent so there's no background on the image. And I'm going to click enter. So that's a cute little octopus right there. So I'm either going to hold my mouse down and drag it over and drop. Or you can just click on the image and hit insert. And then I'm going to make it a little smaller so it goes inside of my box. There we go. There's my octopus ready for my kids. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Okay, now there's my octopus. Now, to get the word octopus on here, you're gonna go to insert word art, and you're just gonna type it in and hit enter. Okay, so there's the word that I'm ready to make bigger. I'm ready to change the font color. So I'm gonna change the font to the Engelbert one that I like. I'm gonna change the color to stand out. Let's see what this lime green looks like. And eh, that really doesn't stand out. Let's see what red looks like. There we go, because the picture's red. So I'm gonna change that to be like that. And now I'm ready for my kids to be able to drag something over and drop it. Now, you wanna add in your directions either on the side in this white space around your border, or you can add it underneath the picture. It just depends on where you wanna add the directions. But to add directions, You'll go to text box and you'll just drag in a text box either on the outside or on your actual slide. And you can just say, look at the picture and read the word out loud. Count the number of syllables the word has. Drag the circle over the correct number of syllables. Okay. So I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to change the font, and I'm going to change the size. Let's see how big that is. Perfect. I'm going to make this box a little smaller. Now, to make the circle for them to drag over, you're just going to click on Shapes and make the circle. You're going to drag the circle down. And now, it's not transparent yet because I want it to be transparent because if some kid moves it over the three, it's not going to be able to see the three. So to make it transparent, you're going to go to the fill color and hit transparent. Now you can make the outside border of your circle a little thicker and you could change the color of it as well if you really wanted to. Okay, so now I have my circle. Now this is finished. This is a finished document. I'm finished with this. I want my kids to be able to have it. You can add it in Google Classroom, you can add it in Canvas, you can add it in Schoology um, as an assignment for your kids to see. So I'm gonna show you how to add it into your Schoology course. So to add this into your Schoology course, you're gonna hit the, um, go to Schoology, okay? You're gonna go to the course that you wanna add it to. You're gonna go to the Add Materials, Add an Assignment, and this is where you will drop in your Google Drive assignment for your students to be able to complete that syllable assignment. Now, this is the finished progress or project that I was working on. If you listen to the entire presentation, this, or this template I'm giving to y'all for free. So if you would like to have it, it's in the description of this video. Use it, change it however you want, add to it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, this is just a great starting point for you to be able to use syllables and items in your Seesaw into a Google slideshow. I hope this helped you. Have a great day. Bye.